Hello, anybody. I'm Alpaca Patrol, and this is EU4. That's right, I'm back with another episode of Europa Universalis 4. We have a couple things we gotta do. So, I did a little experimentation. Uh, I, 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 you know, I made out with the dude, and no, I'm just kidding. I, I did a little experimentation. I tried to see if, we, if it was possible for us to do more than one co uh, colony at a time. Totally not! At least not with advisors. And I, I kind of want the advisors because I want to stay up on tech, so uh, that's 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 a problem there. Now, people are saying, oh, there's some, uh, the revolt risk is going to be a problem. One, we've already dealt with most of the revolt risk by coring and, and, and leaving some things, so there, there are going to be some revolts here. Now, people were saying uh, religion, right? So we have a, a Sunni province here. I mean, this is fully Sunni. Is that, wait, is that fully Sunni? Oh my god, why is that Sunni? It's tribesmen! And you have Sunni tribesmen. All right, that's fine. But, but anyway, uh, so we have we have like a Sunni province here. Uh, oh well, I guess here is the is the one that's again. This is another. It's a fucking tribesman, man. Anyway, so uh, people are like Rob, well, you have a missionary. Why aren't you spending your missionary? Okay, so here's why I'm not spending my missionary. Monthly progress of 0.0 percent because of negative two Sunni. Uh, and I even put an Earth Rampart in here to increase, but it's 0.1%, and provincial tax income is 1.5. So, uh, so basically, um, spending the missionary doesn't matter. I could put it here. I'll put it there if you want. It doesn't really... Actually, no, I'm not going to put it there because, um, because that costs money. So, <clears throat> basically, using the missionary is just a big waste of money. Other people said, and this is all, these are all just things that I've gotten on the first video, by the way. Um, I'm gonna record a couple of these right now, so it's probably, I'm probably not gonna be able to get, like, full feedback immediately. Um... So, sorry about that. Um, but, uh, by the way, there, apparently there's a Coalitions map mode, which someone said that there was. Federations map mode. Hmm. Interesting. Accepted cultures, players, winters, climate, colonial regions. Missionary buildings, blah, 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 I don't really know. But, anyway, uh, so people are saying, hey, maybe you should just vassalize these fools. Uh, they don't, they, they will not, they will never accept vassalization. So let's, let's, let's take a look, and, and I'll show you why. Uh, so, if I go to, uh... Offer vassalization. So obviously, there the, all these things are, are fixed based on your your relations. But look at the there's three negative one thousand. Shybans has a subject of their own. So Shybans they're they're just out, and Shybans are pretty damn strong. So uh, they're just out. Um, not the same religious group. Okay, that's negative thousand. We could fix that. Shybans has more than forty total base tax. So a couple of these guys are basically just they're not gonna take it. Not the same religion has subjects of his own. Musaids, uh, the Idrisids, not the same religious group. Idrisids have more than forty base tax. So basically, vassalization is out as well. The only way that we're actually gonna be able to do anything here is through um. Uh, through military conquest, so that that's essentially what we're gonna do. So, we, so we might take on somebody like maybe these guys, uh, allied with Morocco and Mizrids. So that's not that big of a deal, honestly. Who are the Mizrids, though? I don't know the Mizrids are. Are you the Mizrids? Who are you? It's just Tangier. You the Mizrids? Are you the Mizrids? Hey, you guys know the Mizrids? So yeah, so essentially. Uh, there's nothing that we can do over here. We, we should just focus on colonization down here, which is, again, what I'm going to be doing. Uh, and then, you know, uh, deal with it that way. And basically, just try to keep up on our tech, and hopefully, be able to get a neighboring province with France, westernize, and then outclass the, the Muslims here. Because right now, they have a numerical advantage, but we'll have a tech advantage I in the future. And that's, that's our, that's our goal right now. We get the ideas, uh, once we get that, we could conquistadors, and then we could go, uh, we could you know, get uh, an explorer here so that we could join our navy up here as well. We got a lot of things that we got to do. And plus, we're pretty close to uh, getting income from Vassal's production efficiency. Uh, we could uh, attempt to vassalize these guys uh, because they mostly like us. I wonder... Yeah, right, too technologically advanced, so they won't do it. But they will do a protectorate. And apparently a protectorate, like, you can still annex a protectorate? I actually don't know if you can. But I'm told that you can. Hold on, I might just Google it. Annex, Protectorate. I should just do that after <laughs> after the video, shouldn't I? Uh, protectorate, see if you for, let's find out. Oh my goodness. Uh, I think you can't annex a Protectorate, but it gives you trade power in the region. Yeah, I just found out unfortunately you can't annex them. Okay, so we can't annex a Protectorate, so... Uh, I mean, we could still establish a Protectorate, which probably wouldn't be the worst thing. It gives us a little more gold. Fuck it, let's do it, sure. 
these guys all hate me, so these they're they're not gonna do it. Oh, actually, Oyo kind of likes us, um, and they will offer an alliance. They're still I'm still too technologically advanced to take them, but I can offer them a military alliance. But they wouldn't really be able to come and help me in case of anything. Whatever. Let's just keep going. Let's just get her going. Okay, so now they are a protectorate, which means we get half their trade power, and they help us out. So if anything goes down, uh, and our global tariffs have gone up, so that's pretty good too. Um, and basically, we're just going to regen our manpower, which uh, should be done in the next couple of months, next couple of years. Um, this province should be done in the next 40 years, so that'll be good. I mean, there, there are also events that happen that, in, uh, that increase it. Um, I don't know if adding a colonist, if keeping the colonists there increases that. I don't think it does. But, um, and we have a chance, like a 1% chance every year for that to increase as well. So, uh, you know, we're, we're pretty good right now. I think, I think we're fine. We're just gonna, you know, get up some money, get up some things, figure some stuff out, uh, get some tech. Basically, my goal right now is to be way more technologically advanced than these fuckers. Um, yeah, and we're just in, okay, cool. So we're not, we're not like ahead. Yeah, I don't think we have an ahead uh, detriment, so. We just have the 20%, you know, eastern, uh, detriment is the main problem here. But we're pretty close! Uh, actually, yeah, we, we have, uh, one more month and we should be able to do it. Yeah, here we go. Alright, researching Archibus. Excellent. Uh, although hand cannons have been developed in China the 12th century and spread to Europe by the 14th, the weakness of these weapons reduced their battlefield utility. Light and reliable Archibus was able to displace bow due to these three main factors. It had better armor penetration, it was easier to train men to use it, and it did not rely on the strength of the men. So, uh, now we have awesome bonuses, we've increased military tech, can we get a new troop type? No, we can't. Pike infantry is the next one. That's okay. Wow, available military tech 10. We're quite a ways off. Um, that's okay. Yeah, and these guys are the most updated as well. That's fine. Um, basically, we're gonna do some internal shit. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know, start this colonization pro process. We're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and, and, and figure out how to, uh, explore Africa and colonize it as well. Greatness. Oh, gain a hundred population in Sierra Leone. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Some events can happen. And we're gonna take one colony at a time. By the way, a hundred legitimacy? Ballin. We're losing a lot of prestige per year, which is unfortunate. But there's a coalition against me, so there's not really much I could really do about it, unfortunately. Um, we need to look at the different map modes. We can look at the manpower map mode. Awful, except for there. Um, but our manpower is regenerating slowly, which is fine. That's, like, exactly what we want. Um, in fact, we could actually start spending. We have, uh, yeah, I don't know how many forces we have. Like, what do we have here? Only one cab there. I'm gonna claim that Gobier. Okay. Lost the conquest possibility. All right, that's fine. I mean, they're again, they're in the coalition, so. Two horse. Uh oh. Okay, monarchs rule. Non enforcement of ordinances. I don't want to lose the administrative power. Although it's only thirty. All right, fine. We'll lose it. We need to increase our stability. That's that's a thing. So I'm I'm really hoping there's gonna be some sort of effect. That increases our stability, because if we can increase our stability, we increase our money, we increase a whole lot of things. Ah, new idea! Okay, awesome. So we could get quests for the new world. Now, we could also get the new technology, uh, potentially, which gives us trade range and trade efficiency. Our trade is not that important to us, honestly, so... You know what? I'm gonna go for the quest for the new world. So, so now we could get explorers and conquistadors, which is wonderful. Uh, and that means we can take you and get you a... Oh, well, I guess we have to wait until that's done. 50... Di oh, it's because it costs diplomatic power. I actually didn't realize that these cost uh, diplomatic power. Good to know. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. So we're going to we're gonna join at least our, uh, our nation here, I think, overseas. Uh, through getting rid of this in Terra Incognita. Uh, basically, we need more knights, is what I'm learning here. Uh, so we're going to get more knights. I really should just be building them all there, honestly. Let me, let me cancel these. Because um, this this place has a, uh, a thing. Okay, so we got three going. And then uh, once we have that, we're, we're pretty good. I'll send these uh, knights up to the, to the north. And goodness shall abound. 
Um, I guess I can close that. I don't really need the map so much. Okay. Ashanti nationalists have risen up over there. Ooh, that's bad. That's bad news bears. That's real bad news bears. Hmm. I wonder if they're gonna kill us. I certainly hope not. I think they will, but we are... Uh, we have no leader here is the problem. I mean, they shouldn't have good armies, right? Mm. Let me try increasing our army maintenance, see if that helps. Yeah, we lost. Okay, that's uh, not terribly surprising. That's okay. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and... Uh, let's split in half and then split in half. And you guys come over here. You guys come over here, too. We're, we're going to have to go through really dangerous territory, I think, in order to take back this province. But you know what? If we got to do it, we got to do it. He's coming all the way back. Hey, look, it's Dendi. He's playing Pudge right now. I think. Probably. All right, we'll keep these guys in here. You guys are coming back. You can come over here as well. Revolts are still possible. That's okay. We'll, we'll get in there, we'll, we'll go march through territory that is going to be shitty to march through, but it'll be okay, because then we'll take down these fuckers and not really have to worry. We're losing a lot of money that- holy shit! Way too much money. Let's, uh, let's go for that. And then you have a, a leader, right? No, you don't have a leader. Do we have any leaders? I wonder. We do. Where are you? Oh, you're going to lead them. Good. Awesome. I'm glad. Because I wanted him to lead, so this bit works well. That works just fine. Whoa, okay, so we gotta fight these guys, that's alright. Again, we, we're gonna have to go through these tribal bastards, so, you know, I'm not, not ter terribly surprised that that's gonna happen. But we should have an advantage, plus we have uh, all the other things going for us. Yeah, we're good. We're just fine. Um, and then, honestly, we'll leave, I guess, three regiments there. And we can lower our... Uh-oh. Uh I hope these guys can get back. Oh, get back. They're just tribesmen. Come on. You got this. You got... Oh, fuck. You've got Archibai. Archibasai. All right. That's fine. Whatever. Let's uh, let's lower our army maintenance again so that we could get some more money. Uh, and we are reinforcing once more. So we're, we're stretched a little thin here, but that's okay. Because, again, we're, we're working on our tech here. We're going to get some more things. It's going to be great. It's going to be just fine. You can come back over here. Hopefully we don't have anything going on here. See, the problem is that they're Sunni. Okay, let's actually use harsh treatment. Yeah. We'll use the 10 military power. Lower the uh, the revolt chance, because honestly, I don't want to deal with any of that. And Again, we're going to have to reinforce our manpower here. We need 2,309 men. We're close! But, um, but not close enough. That's okay. We'll wait for our manpower to resolve. We're gaining all this good stuff. Uh, what is it? Land technology research useless? Wow. Fuck those guys. No. They... They don't have a point. I don't... I don't believe that they have a point, but I'd rather not lose the prestige, so... 50 military power it is. That sucks. A lot. Like, a, a whole lot. Um, okay, so you guys, why don't we join our navies together? Okay, and then let's hire a, um... Do we have to put them in port to really get a leader? Okay. Let's recruit an explorer. It's gonna cost us some things, but that's okay. Oh, no, no, you have a leader! I guess I didn't, I didn't add him. It's okay. We'll get him up here. We'll explore this land. It's gonna be wonderful. I can't wait to see what's going on over here. Because the world doesn't know, you know? You know what I mean? Okay, so we explored that, which is good. Um, and uh, I guess, you know, we could really get him going down here to see what's going on. Although, do we need to? I don't think so. Let's just get him back. Let's get the, let's get the, the, the fleet back, our trade fleet. We can invest in a new technology. Yes, we are going to do that. I can build a temple and a constable, which sounds amazing. And uh, we'll get our fleet back. We'll probably get rid of this guy. Probably boot him. Because I don't really care about him very much. 
He's commanding troops. How do I go to no leader? No leader. There we go. Okay. And then this guy. You get the boot, buddy. You get the boot. Um, and then we can get an army. See, I don't want to, I don't want to, like, weaken this army at all. Maybe we should just wait. We'll just wait for a while and we'll just protect trade on our most valuable, the Ivory Coast trade node. We're actually getting a lot of gold from there for some reason. I'm not going to complain. I am not going to complain. Ah, oh, General Umar is dead. That's unfortunate. But, hey, shit happens. Oh my god, Colonial Company goes bankrupt. Ah, uh, I don't want to lower my population. Let's lose the 50 bucks. Man, that is two times. Two times that that happened. That's okay. Uh, that's that's all right. We can we can deal with that. We can deal with uh, our issues. We actually are at full uh, everything, so that's good. They can hire a free military leader, and they won't cost any military power and monthly upkeep costs. That's pretty good. Um, I guess we might as well hire one. Although, yeah, we should probably recruit a conquistador. That won't cost anything. The thing is, I don't want to move an army from here, although we could. Hmm. Maybe we should. Maybe we'll move, you know, these eight. Are we moving the eight? Let's move the six. Let's have the six be our conquistador regiment. And uh, he'll go see what's going on over here. And then, you know, we're, we're good right now. Uh, slave nation Syria alone have risen and attacked our peaceful provinces. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Well, we, we should be winning, right? Right? We should be winning. Yeah, we, we stomped their asses. Killed them dead. Okay, let's lower the army maintenance a bit. Get back to our usual levels. I do want to... I should probably put a general there, honestly. But right now, I want to get a conquistador. And get him going. And then, I guess, you know, I could put the conquistador in charge of, uh, of things. Oh, of course. As soon as I leave. As soon as I leave. These... These Bedouin bastards. Sorry, I, didn't, I don't mean to be a racist sounding, but, uh, you know. You know how it is, being a racist. <laughs> I'm kidding, obviously. I'm not, a, I'm not a racist man. I'm a very not racist man. I'm the opposite of racist. Um, I guess we actually have to come back. So let's, let's get them both in here. What is this? The 21st of December and the 22nd. Okay, so we're, we're pretty good. We, we should be fine. We have a leader in charge. Good. We have defeated them. Let's lower that. I don't know what just happened, actually, to be honest with you. But that's okay. We'll get this guy in here. Take these these rebels out of here. And again, like, this is how I'm going to deal with rebels. I'm just going to kill them. Like, instead of wasting our military power. And let's split in half and get... Are you... You're the one... Okay, that's fine. You could, you could come down here. And we're gaining money, only a small amount of money. It's because of our trade power. It's probably from these protectorates, man. Or this protectorate. Really is giving us a lot. It does give you, uh... I don't know if it gives you 100% of the trade power, but it gives you a lot of the trade power. I think it might just give you 50%. Um, okay. And then we could come down here. Oh, national decisions available. Formalize whale skates with... <laughs> whales. Formalize whales, friends! We must formalize whales. This is that to notify the player when it's available. Oh, that's cool. I actually didn't know. That's a cool... That must be in the 1.5 update. That's kind of awesome. Okay, so uh, it costs us 50 administrative power and increases our national task, uh, task, tax modifier. Yes, we're going to do it. Um, I'd rather increase our gold output right now. Uh, we lose administrative power, you know, which is shitty. Don't get me wrong. But, um, you know, it'll be fine. I'm going to move these guys back up here to protect our borders. Okay, fight off these dudes. Excellent. And send the Conquistador back home. And uh, he doesn't cost anything. Musaids have declared war on the new... In, in, oh, amazing! Yes, please fight the Saibans. The Shaibans. Make them weak. I want a weak Shai... Again, I want these Muslim nations to really be fighting one another. That's my main goal here. Is uh, getting these Muslims to fight each other. And if we can do that, then goodness shall be abounded for us. Okay, you guys come up here. You guys get a leader. 
And then we're going to lower how much we spend on the army. Just the, the reason I'm doing this is I want, again, more money, and I want to be able to... Um, like, if, a, if an uprising happens, I want them to have a, an army there. Or a, or a leader there, so that uh, we can probably still win no matter what. And how is our manpower? Okay, we're looking alright. We're looking alright. Oh, and, and we're pretty close to reinforcing. Again, this manpower thing is being a problem. Ah, oh, shit. We lose one stability. That is a really big issue, actually. Because we can't boost it. We only have 54 power available. Man, I don't know what's happening where this always happens to me. Is this just bad RNG? Is this just bad luck? I I don't know. How much does this cost? 40 administrative. Yeah, we don't want to spend administrative. Let's spend this stuff. Let's get this harsh treatment going. In periods of prosperity and peace, while people are happy and secure, there is a tendency for them to gradually become less productive and lazier over time. So that's great. So... We're at negative one stability now, which increases our global trade, or decreases our global trade power and stuff, and all this other shit, which sucks. But at least now we can see all of Africa, so that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy about that. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pretty pumped about the uh, the lack of that thing. Ah, oh, fucking A! Malian authority under threat. Release Jolof as an independent state. So this is the... This is something that you can get as a, um, as Mali. Oh, man. Where, where is this? Is it, at least it's not in Tali, right? No, it's not. Okay. Throughout the 14th and 15th centuries, our grasp on our outlying territories has grown weaker and weaker, notably resulting in Songhai renouncing any claim to loyalty to us. Now people closer to home are demanding a weaker Malian state, while people to the west in Yalof, or Jalof, Demand independence from us altogether. We can try to put this down to challenge challenge to our authority, but it'll come at great cost. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and fight these fuckers. I think that's what we're gonna do. And honestly, I think that's probably a good place to end the video. Is right here, as soon as we do this. Yep, nationalist rebels have risen up. That is not terribly surprising. And it looks like it's time for us to hire some military leaders, friends. I think that's gonna be a thing that happens. Anyway... Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. This has been another episode of EU4, Europa Universalis 4. We're continuing our colonies. Some really troublesome internal struggles. And, uh, and you know, we, we've got some, some issues with stability. We definitely need to spend administrative power to get us to at least negative, or like, like, po like not even positive, but zero stability. It's, uh, it's real bad, man. It's real bad. Things, things just got bad. Bad real fast, too. I don't know what happened. I must have just terrible RNG luck. But anyway, uh, we shall deal with these these nationalist bastards. Jalafian nationalists. I don't feel like dealing with them. But we're going to deal with them. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. This has been EU4, and we'll be back in the next episode with uh, these rebel bastards. This is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace, fools.